Okay, what we have here is the uh, calculation, the center of gravity calculation. Basically, I took the uh, the framework. Uh, if you look on the website, we have a center of gravity calculation where we show how to take the each tube, each tube we add it together, take the tires, the weights, all that stuff, the, the seat, and even the person, and you throw it into the calculation to figure out what the uh, center of gravity is going to be on the go-kart. Well, what we have here is a 47 percent weight on the front, which is not the most desirable. Um, we'll have to see how that works. That is assuming that I have a small child in the front with me versus having two adults riding. So if you had two adults riding, you might actually perform better in cornering. Um, so we're just going to take a risk and run with this particular go-kart design. Uh, we'll probably be adding a roll cage anyway, so that'll add some more weight on the front. So we'll probably end up being pretty well on the uh, weight side. I also ran through some calculations for the uh, power output and what kind of gear gearing I should be working with. And I know this all looks like Swahili here, but the particular number I'm looking for is 5.89 seconds or the uh, acceleration of 11.49 feet per second squared, which is relatively decent for the uh, ratios that I've selected, which are pretty equivalent to what I had before on the go-kart. Uh, we are running a little bit more horsepower, running a 10.5 horsepower engine, so uh, it's going to be a fun project.